I am finally finishing up with my last post-op appointment from my surgery and these appointments have been extremely painful. I am going to get us to a place where we have some more AC when I leave the building and I'm gonna need for us to sit down and have a meeting. That intro clip was from my very last follow-up appointment from my nose surgery in August of 2022. And the plan that day was to continue on and make the video that you are seeing today, but that didn't happen. Life happened. So here we are right now. And so what I want us to do today is just spend some time together talking about and catching up with some of the things that have been going on over here with Miss Donna behind the scenes. You know, a lot of times on YouTube, people will um, constantly talk about consistency, 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 while also trying to prioritize mental health. And so what I have been over here doing is prioritizing myself and everything that's associated with that. But I want to give you a little bit of rundown because I do think it's important, right? I've said this before in other videos. I do think it's important, at least to me, and for the type of content creator and the type of person that I am, to not just show up as the person who has all of the polished tips put together, but to also show up for you as a human being so that you know that I'm over here dealing with life and situations and circumstances beyond my control, just like the next person. So I want us to get caught up. I'm going to talk about uh, my issues with IRS. I'm also going to talk to you briefly about my surgery. And then as you can see from where we are right now, I've moved. So I want to bring you up to speed on all of those things. And also with that, we have gained quite a few new subscribers since the last time I made a video. So for some people, this is their first time seeing me outside of um, the last video that I did where, you know, they came over, watched and subscribed. So hello to all of you who may be laying your eyes on me for the first time and meeting me for the first time. I'm glad that you are here and I hope that I share something worthwhile to make you be one of those subscribers who just doesn't hit that subscribe button and then go on about your business. I hope that you subscribe and continue to come back and watch. Let's start off with the IRS. When I filed my taxes in March of 2022, it was business as usual, used the same online company that I've used probably for the past five or six years. And lo and behold, I was one of the millions of people who had my refund check held up by the IRS. Now, some people, when your check is not um, released to you, you'll get a specific code, like letting you know what the problem was. Maybe you entered your social security number wrong or the wrong date of birth, just something didn't you know, match up with previous returns. In my particular situation, the IRS just gave me some kind of a generic code that basically added up to, we did this <laughs> because we can. So you just sit over there in Austin and wait for us to get to your paperwork and we'll get you your check on our own time, right? So I did just a little bit of, bit of digging to try to find out, you know, like what that code was and there was nothing specific tied to it. I just happened to be one of the people, uh, one of the tax filers where the IRS decided, hey, let's take a further look into what she's doing. And the only thing that I could come up with as to why my return was flagged was because this was my first year not filing a Schedule C as a sole proprietor. I just did a straight 1040. So I don't know if that triggered something, um, but I did end up a few months later, getting my check from the IRS, and they even gave your girl a little bit of interest, um, you know, when they did my direct deposit. So I'm telling you that as this new tax season approaches in the event that unfortunately you, you end up being one of these people who, for whatever reason, you get this random code, you know, saying that your, um, your tax return is being reviewed. You have some kind of clue as to why. And if you do, you can always come back over here and ask me a question. And if I have the answer, I will do all that I can to point you in the right direction 
to get the information that you need. Okay, now let's talk about moving. You know, I have been talking about this for probably close to a year and a half at the time that this video is being made. I finally moved. No, I did not buy a home because the interest rates, they're just, they're still not cooperating. They're just not. So I am renting another place. I got more space, thankfully. Um, this is the spot where you will be seeing the videos uh, going forward coming from me. It's got a lot of natural sunlight, although that's not happening that much today here in Austin. But I'm really excited about being in a new, a new space because as I was moving and I was going back over to my apartment to clean up, I really did not realize like how dark and gloomy my apartment was. Um, so I can definitely say speaking for myself, your surroundings play a huge part in your creativity. So I'm looking forward to continuing on making more videos in this new space. And even sharing, you know, as I always do, some of the things that happened along the way during this whole moving process. So there will definitely be more rental um, related content and information coming to you, particularly for those who have found those apartment tips videos and subscribed to me because of those videos. I am not going to forget about you. I think that there's a lot of information out there right now pertaining to home builders but there's definitely a gap in sufficient and helpful information as it pertains to renters and particularly people who are renting apartments. We now have a community tab over here on my channel. So keep an eye on that for updates in between me making videos and just when I see like something newsworthy or something that I feel like you may want to know, keep an eye on that community tab. You can always um, ask me questions there and participate and just really be a part of the conversation and a part of the network that we're building over here. Let's talk about my nose surgery. I saved it for last because some people just don't care to hear. My true friends, the ones who have been over here with me from day one, y'all know who you are. I know y'all probably will stick around until the end of the video to just get cut off, caught up on that part. But I had a pretty extensive sinus surgery in August of 2020. No, I keep saying August, in July of 2022. And I was on medical leave for about a month. And while I was on medical leave, I was going to appointments every single week. And the appointments entailed some pretty painful experiences as my doctor, you know, checked my healing and all of those things. And I, I just, I didn't feel good. Like I allowed myself the opportunity um, to sit down somewhere and get better. So I'm all done with that, thankfully. And probably about a week after I was um, cleared off of uh, medical leave, probably about a week after, maybe not even a full week, um, my brother became really, really ill and was placed in hospice. And he passed away at the end of August. So I really have been over here since then, just taking the time to slow down and to reflect on a lot of things. I know that sounds cliche, but one of the things that I'm grateful for is the fact that I'm, I'm at a point in my YouTube um, endeavor. I'm at a point to where I don't have to do this for a living. So I don't have to show up and be forced to work through situations that I wouldn't even show up and work through on my, my regular, you know, nine to five job that pays all of my bills. And so I'm going to continue to treat my channel that way. And I know it's a lot different from a lot of the other YouTube creators who are out here who, as I stated earlier in the video, um, Everything is predicated on consistency and I'm not building that over here. 
for myself. That's not something that I want for me right now. And it's not something that I want for my channel long term. So anytime I feel the need to step back and focus on whatever it is outside of this channel that I want to focus on, I am going to do that um, without apologizing. And I want you to know that I'm going to always, <laughs> um, you know, come back. I will always come back. But within that process, Donna will always be at the top of that priority list. And if any anyone listening to this today, if you've been struggling with perhaps not feeling as if it's okay, or if you needed permission to prioritize yourself, I want to say to you today, permission granted. Do whatever it is that you need to do to take care of you and those people who are truly with you for the right reasons. They will support you. They will rally around you. They will be there for you when you come back and everything will continue to be okay. So thank you for allowing me the opportunity to take up space, take up your time, be 100% who I am all of the time, and let's just keep it moving. I will see you back here soon for our next video.